Alright you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at server ransomware. Now server ransomware is a crypto type ransomware which once injected onto the system it will encrypt all your data. That means if you don't have backup of your data then you're going to lose it unless you pay for their ransom. So it's a nasty type of ransomware which does encrypt all your data which is pretty nasty. But how can you protect yourself from them? Well you've got a few options. You've got software that actually blocks uh, the ransomware from running and uh, saves your data or you can make backups of your system on a regular basis and keep your data safe in a location that's not connected to that computer and that means if you do get hit with a ransomware you can just uh, reinstall your system and put your data back on. So let's take a look at uh, server ransomware in action so now I'm going to quickly click on this here now if I click on this and then we take a look at the uh, task manager here just going to go more details here and we should see under processes this actual um, uh, executable file running here and you can see it's just disappeared now we've got a, a, a file called dialer 32 bit now this does change uh, every single time so every time you execute this file it will change and uh, it could be called uh, any type of name so this changes this process will change every single time so you can see here uh, what we're going to do is take a look at once this uh, gets on the system and does that so let me just quickly uh, go to this location I'm going to right click and open file in location it's probably in the roaming area as you can see here so inside the roaming area you're getting this folder here and this is where the dialer is but this remember this file will be called different names every single time so it won't be always called dialer so inside here you can see here so what we're going to do I'm going to close this off and let this inject itself you can see the CPU is starting to climb that means it's doing something and eventually it will encrypt all your data. Now if you did have software that protected you against this it would block this and it wouldn't allow it on the system. So we're going to just let this continue to inject itself on the system and then we'll take a look what happens. And there you have it. Attention. 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 Your documents, photos, databases and other important files have been encrypted. Your documents. Now again, photos, I never would pay for this particular type of uh, decryption because uh, your you're just the photos, more you pay for these to get your data back, the more they're going to create these types of uh, ransomware. Okay, photos, so if you don't feed them with money, then they won't create them anymore. It's as simple as that. Photos, there is a lot of people that do pay for it to get their data back, but if you did the right thing encrypted. and back your data up regularly and use software photos, to block uh, ransomware, then at least uh, you're going halfway your to protect yourself. So you can see here now the message on the desktop here is your documents, photos and databases and other important files have been encrypted. You can see some encryption files on the uh, desktop here. Again we can take a look here and if we look in the pictures you can see all the files have now been encrypted, all our pictures. So if this had pictures of your wedding, uh, children and stuff like that, holidays, all that will be encrypted so it's always best to keep a backup now backing up has never been easier so I would advise you to back up your system regularly and also keep it away from this computer so never ever leave say an external drive plugged in because it will encrypt all that data as well you need to keep it in a safe place and uh, that way if you do get hit with this type of thing you can wipe the machine reinstall windows and put all your data back on Okay, you get the inconvenience of having to do that, but at least um, you've got all your data safe. Now, you could use software to remove this if you're going to remove it. 
um, i.e. malware bytes will remove the uh, server but the problem is you're still not going to be able to get your data back now you could use tools like Shadow Explorer and things like that to actually uh, try to pull your data back there's also other ways of trying to get your data back using previous versions data recovery software uh, but if you do need to try and get that back uh, you could try and do that but again there's no guarantee that that's going to happen so that is the server ransomware again if you want to try to remove it use your software to remove it but you aren't going to get your data back as of this moment in time as soon as a, a, a decryption tool comes available I will post that link in the description for you Anyway, I hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Also, hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. Also, if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, you can head over there and give us a little like up over there. Got any problems with your computers or anything like that, you can always head over to the forums and uh, join up over there. It's free to join. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye for now.